Welcome back, Wolf Skinders. I got another food for thought for you. This one is, uh, this one has to do with a little bit of my life. Um, something I uh, thought that would be pretty good. Um, maybe uh, many others have thought about it or have done it. But when I was homeless for two years, um, I actually spent a lot of time at the public library, more than what you would think. You, I mean, yeah, being homeless, you would spend more time there because it's it's free. You get to you know walk, get on the computer and stuff like that. But if you think about it, I spent a lot more time actually reading than I ever did at school. See, the thing is, I never finished school. I thought it was a waste of time and was completely pointless. The only thing school offered was just a place to socialize. And, I th and I'm and i like, if that's it, then yeah, school's pretty much worthless to me. And I've learned everything I can from either being um, on the streets or in the public library. Like, I had vast knowledge and I could always read whatever I want, you know, to you know, what I what I wanted to research and stuff like that. So, you know, had fantasies and, and, and uh, you know, fiction and stuff. And, you know, I used to read uh, fantasy novels a lot, you know. Um, I actually read a full book. I actually read a, a series of books while homeless, and I enjoyed it. It was about, it was about, um, let's see, what was it? It was about dragons and humans, um, and when you mate with a dragon, uh, the women have power, while the humans, uh, the women, the females have the powers, and then the males have the physical characteristics from it. Uh, one of the characters was Vengeance. Uh, I thought it was pretty good, but yeah, it's... I just started thinking, I just started uh, reminiscing about that, and I was just wondering if any of you guys, like, have you guys gone to, like, like even to the, even those who are in school, do you find school to be useless? Like, do you, do you even go to the, do you even go to the library in your schools, you know, and it's like, if not, you know, I mean, I, I, I know most people say they wouldn't, but if you, if you pretty much could just probably drop out, you know, that's what I did at 16. I don't regret it. You can get your GED online, you know, if you want something, if you at least need a job, you know. You don't need to go to college like you used to, you know. So you pretty much just start your own business just from scratch, you know. Got YouTube, I guess, if you want to call it that. Twitch, probably. So, you know, so there's like, there's tons of ways to make to make a living, I guess you could call it. And school to me nowadays just doesn't hold water. Uh, even back then, I look at it now. I even ask it. I ask kids, you know, you know, when they're, you know, when they're shopping with their parents and stuff like that. I ask because I'm kind of curious. I've always been a curious person, and school felt like I was being stripped of that, you know, with knowledge. You know, that's why I'm trying to write a book and stuff like that. So it, yeah, that's my question for you guys: is uh, is school even worth it nowadays? And if it's not, where do you, and, and if it's not, you know, where do you get more of your knowledge? Do you, you know, do you do, uh, do you do uh, online or do you still go to the library and check out a physical book? So, tech, talk to you guys later. As always, do not get stabbed or shot during the apocalypse. Bye everyone.